All right, students. This is ARD, your accounting coach. Today we are going to discuss qualitative characteristics of financial statements. Now, what are qualitative characteristics? These are also known as objectives of financial statements. Uh, as you may be aware, what are the terms financial statements? Financial statements comprise of basically five items. For O level students, it consists of income statement. Uh, statement of changes in equity, statement of financial position. And for A-level students, it also include statements such as statement of cash flows and the last one is notes to the accounts. So what are the qualitative characteristics of financial statements? Qualitative characteristics are certain characteristics or certain things that need to be required in financial statements or final accounts. Now there are four requirements or four characteristics that are uh, required in any accounts that you prepare. Uh, four of them are understandability, relevance, reliability and the last one is uh, comparability. There are four characteristics that are required in final accounts. We can start with the term understandability. Understandability is simple. Uh, that means that the accounts that you are preparing must be understandable to a certain uh, range of users. Now who are the users of the accounts? Users of the accounts are basically group of people that are interested in the accounts of a limited company. What can be the users of accounts? Who can be the users of account? First of all, there are shareholders or owners of the business, also known as investors. Shareholders or owners, as you may be aware, they are investing uh, their amount, their money into the business. So they are the prime users. They are the a very important group of stakeholders for a business. They are interested in how the business is operating. Then we have other users as well, such as lenders, that is creditors, that is banks. Banks or creditors are also uh, investing money into the business in the form of loans. They are granting loan to the business. Therefore, they are also interested in accounts. Then we have employees because the future of the employees, their career uh, depends on how the company is performing the future. So they are also interested in accounts. So we are discussing who are the group of users that may be interested in financial statements. So there are many groups. There can be government uh, or tax authorities. They want to make sure that the company is paying taxes on the profits that they are earning. Then there can be other lenders, there can be regulatory bodies or authorities. So these are all stakeholders or users of the accounts. Now whenever the users of the accounts study the financial statements, they are basically uh, looking for these characteristics, these qualities in the financial statements. One of which is understandably the account should be understood by uh, anyone who is is uh, fairly knowledgeable again the account the person reading the accounts shouldn't be illiterate or he shouldn't be he is not also uh, uh, he is not also expected to be an expert of accounts means he shouldn't be a chartered accountant he should have some basic knowledge of the accounts of and finance uh, so he may be able to understand the account the account should be able to be understandable means if a layman this means if a normal person who is not an accountant he has some basic education he may be able to uh, understand what does these accounts means so this is understandability i may read the official definition the information must be readily understandable to the users of the financial statement. We have already discussed who are the users. They may be shareholders, lenders and so on. This means the information must be clearly presented. The presentation is very important to the accounts. The A-level students must be aware there is an IAS, International Accounting Standard, IAS1, who clearly identify, who clearly say that this should be the presentation of account. This is the format of making an income statement or statement of change in equity or maybe balance sheet statement of financial position. Uh, with additional information information supplied in the supporting footnotes as needed to assist in clarification. This means uh, if there is certain information that is not available on the face of the income statement and statement of financial statement, it should be available in the notes. So first quality is understandability, then it is relevance. Relevance, what does the word relevance mean? The relevance means the information that is being presented in the accounts, it is relevant to the user who is making 
decisions based on these accounts. The information should be relevant. Means uh, we do not want to overload the user with the bulk of information that the user does not require. So user must only be getting the information that is relevant for the users. Uh, as you are aware, uh, many of the non-financial information is not given to shareholders. Non-financial information means uh, information that is not directly linked. Uh, we do not give uh, our shareholders that how many employees do we have or what are the qualifications of those employees and we do not give certain details to uh, shareholders because these are not relevant relevant for their decision making so only information that is relevant for them in order to make informed judgments in order to make decisions what are the decisions that an investor may make investor may make a decision whether to buy uh, shares of the certain company or if he is already owner of such shares he may consider selling the shares so this information is relevant for the user. Uh, I can give you an example. For example, if you are being offered a job in certain country, uh, maybe Afghanistan. So what is the information that you need in order to make a decision whether you are accepting that job offer or whether you are rejecting that job offer? Uh, you may be interested in the salary package. This is most important for all of us. So how much salary or other fringe benefits that we will may be get getting. So you may be also interested in the law and order situation there in Afghanistan, whether will you will be able uh, to perform your duties uh, efficiently there or whether there will be disruption in due to the economic environment. So any information that is relevant for you to make the decision whether you want to uh, Continue, uh, where you want to go to Afghanistan for a new job, this is relevant. So we may read the official definition. The information must be relevant to the needs of the users, which is the case when the information influences the economic decisions of users. So all the decisions that the users are taking, whether buying shares or whether selling shares, uh, the information should support making that decision. This may involve reporting particularly relevant information or information whose omission or misstatement could influence the decision. Means if certain information is relevant and we are not included, uh, we are not including that particular piece of information in the financial statement. This means the financial statements does not contain all the relevant information because we are uh, omitting information or misstating that information. Uh, then we thirdly we have reliability uh, as you may be aware reliability is very important characteristic in anything uh, when we buy something we are going for a reliable product uh, therefore if the users are also buying uh, a shares of certain company if we are investing in a certain company we are making sure we want to make sure that we are investing in a good company in a reliable company and the accounts of that company should also be reliable so what does reliability actually means the information should be free from material errors uh, there can be some immaterial error immaterial error means uh, an error that does not affect your decision making means there is a certain some small amount maybe a hundred dollars of $500 again uh, materiality is a fluid concept a big company may consider 100,000 as immaterial amount or a, a small company may consider 1,000 as a material amount so whatever the company you are accounts that you're studying the account should be free from material errors there shouldn't be material errors and bias uh, what is the word bias means bias means that you are intentionally showing one side of the picture and you are omitting the other side of the picture this means the accounts are not reliable these are biased the, there is certain prejudice of certain uh, thing that you are representing one thing and you are uh, obstructing information to the whole picture you are not showing the whole picture you just, you are just want to show uh, one side of the account that is the positive side and you are not showing a balanced or helicopter view this means accounts are not reliable and not misleading accounts should not be misleading again uh, the information should not mislead you in making you wrong judgments thus the information should faithfully represent transaction and other events the account should be true and fair that means it is showing faithfully. This means it, it is actually telling you what has happened in the previous year. Uh, thus reflecting the underlying substance of event. Uh, substance is basically the economic reality. What is the account showing? Uh, 
देन आर प्रूडेंटली रिप्रेजेंटिंग एस्टिमेट्स एंड अनसर्टेनिटीज थ्रू प्रॉपर डिस्क्लोजर मीन्स वी आर डिस्क्लोजिंग एवरी Uh, that should be included uh, and the information that we are including is reliable see now there is a clash between relevance and reliability and information that is very much relevant may be not very reliable and the information that is very much reliable may not be particularly relevant now let me give you an example as you all may be aware of the recent uh, event that have been reported in new zealand where a person a terrorist basically uh, killed or martyred uh, around 50 muslims muslim worshipers that were performing namaz uh, prayers on juma so there was a particular event everyone know about this now now uh, the information relevant uh, the day that the event took place at that particular day everyone was interested on in this particular information because this information was relevant to the particular time so this information was really relevant uh, all the people around the world or uh, especially muslims were very much interested to see that what happened to our brothers that how many casualties were there how many martyrs were there so the information was relevant then then uh, the uh, uh, relevant that now, now what about reliability now see if i am telling you information now the information is very reliable i am saying that there were 50 casualties 50 people uh, were martyred on that day so this is information that i am reporting you now is very reliable but this is not relevant now because everyone know the information and no one is particularly very much interested in that information because it is a historical information it is past information the information that is very reliable may be not relevant uh, but the event that took place on that particular day uh, on that particular day the information was really relevant but uh, if someone told you that the, there were 100 uh, people martyred you may say them uh, that the information is reliable but uh, relevant but not very reliable so i am saying you whatever information is uh, relating to current events this is very relevant but as you may be aware uh, as the events take place uh, the information is not very really reliable you cannot trust any information that is coming out unless and until it is being reported by a reliable source so this was the difference between reliability and relevance if you want to increase relevance there is a compromise and reliability and vice versa so the management should make sure that they can struck a balance between relevance and reliability and the last characteristic is comparability the account should be comparable from one year to the next this means the account are consistent you have already were heard the word consistent it is an accounting concept that is required consistent meaning you may be using the same policies uh, and um, for example if you are using a straight line method in one year you may not switch to reducing balance in second year without any possible uh, important reason so the in accounts are not comparable from one year to the next if we keep on changing our policies okay so comparability let's read this uh, the information must be comparable to the financial statement presented for other accounting periods maybe previous quarter or previous year so that users can identify trends trend is some long term movement in particular variable long term movement uh, you can see if there is a batsman you can see his uh, statistics on the news channel said what was his statistics what is the long term trend uh, how he is performing uh, in the long term this is the trend or maybe a share price a share price is going up and down and what is the long term trend showing Uh, in the performance and financial position so users i hope you understood these four qualitative characteristics also known as objectives of the financial statement that these four characteristics should be kept in mind by accountants when presenting their information and when making the accounts so if you like this uh, i would like you to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you have already done to and you may stay touch uh, with, with me in other uh, platforms maybe facebook instagram and youtube and twitter thank you